Hey friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss a translation partition function. Now, translation partition function, uh, it is generally uh, due to the translation energy arising due to the translation motion of any particle in a single direction. So, any unimolecular atom or any unimolecular species will show the translation motion and the energy associated with the translation motion is known as uh, translation energy and the partition function associated with it is known as trans translation partition function. So, if I write Qt is our translation partition function and that I can write it as summation gi e raised to minus ei upon kt. So, as we know that beta it can be written as beta is equal to 1 upon kt. So, where k is our Boltzmann constant, ei is our translation energy and gi is our statistical weight factor and if we consider that translation the particle is performing translation motion along x axis or along x axis then i can write it as i can write the subscript x for translation motion uh, along x axis and uh, yeah and this energy associated ei will be the energy along the x axis or when a particle is performing translation motion then at that time the degeneracy of the energy levels is always unity that means the particles are moving in only one energy level and the energy levels are not further divided into several stages so over here when we are considering the translation partition function the statistical weight factor or the de degeneracy factor is unity and hence our equation will become qtx will be equal to summation e raised to et upon kt now over here we need to find out the energy so what will be the energy associated when we are considering the translation motion so for that uh, we have to keep in mind the de broglie's principle and according to de broglie's principle if we have any particle of mass m whose velocity is v so that particle the wave function or the wavelength associated with that is lambda or suppose we say lambda is our wavelength x we write it for along x axis then according to de Broglie's principle we can write h upon lambda x will be equal to m into v and mass into velocity is nothing but it is equal to momentum over here p subscript f x it represents the momentum along x axis okay and the h over here is our Planck's constant lambda x is the wavelength along x axis and p x is our momentum now as we know that when any particle is moving then that particle possesses kinetic energy okay so the energy uh, suppose if we write et is the energy then the kinetic energy is associated with that particle will be equal to half mv square oh sorry i will write it so the kinetic energy will be half mv square okay so the kinetic energy associated with any moving particle is given by half mv square and if i want it to convert into px or i can write px i will divide it by m so i can write px square by 2m okay and if i substitute this value or uh, in place of px square i will substitute this value so our energy that is et it will become h square upon lambda square x upon 2m so this will be the energy associated with the wave now again as the particles they are confined that is suppose i have any box and the particles are moving in that box then the particle will move or the motion of the particle will be equal to the length of that box and the waves or uh, we know that particles are in the form or they are moving in the form of waves so when the particle will move it will form a single crest and single trough so this single crest and single trough is nothing but it is the formation of stationary waves and hence if l is the length of this box then i can write l that is along x axis will be equal to n lambda x by Two because uh, lambda x is wavelength and you know that wavelength it is uh, 
so lambda x is our wavelength and wavelength is the sum of the individual crest and trough okay suppose if we are having a crest and trough then this length is our wavelength so over here only either a single crest or a single trough will be formed so it will be divided by 2 and we are having n number of particles so the total length if we want to consider then we can write lx is equal to n lambda x by 2 we can uh, rearrange this uh, re representation and we, we want it in the form of uh, the wavelength so lambda x will be equal to 2lx upon n where n represents the total number of particles now we will substitute this value of lambda x in our above equation so when we substitute that we will have et is equal to h square upon 2 square will be 4 l square x n square denominator it will go to numerator n square into 2m so i can write n square h square upon 4 to the 8 m l square x so this will be our term so now we have the energy associated with the particle who is performing the translation motion so this energy we will substitute in our above equation that is this equation we will substitute the energy and hence the value of the partition function that is q t along x axis will be equal to summation e raised to minus n square h square upon 8 m l square x into we have k t okay so this is the part uh, this is the term or this is the representation in the form of partition function now as we know that okay, all the energy levels are very closely associated okay and when the energies are closely associated there is very little space between the individual energy levels and hence what we can do is or we can say that the energy levels are continuous and when the energy levels are continuous the summation term can be converted into integration so over here the summation we can convert it into integration and that integration we can integrate between the limits 0 to infinity and we will have e raised to minus n square h square upon 8 m l square x k into t so this will be our term now we will take all the constant terms one side okay that means okay, suppose i can write alpha or i can write a will be equal to x square upon 8 m l square x into k t so these are constant term because h we know it is a planck's constant m is the mass l is the length of the container or l is the length k is boltzmann constant and t is the temperature so all the constant terms we have taken together so and one more thing this will be into dn okay so over here i can write qt along x axis will be equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus i will have a n square into dn okay and the solution of this type of integration from calculus we can write it as qtx will be equal to half summation pi by a so this direct solution of this type of integration from calculus and when we replace the value of a we will have half root over when we substitute the value of a we know that denominator will go in numerator and hence we will have 8 pi m l square x kt upon h square so this is the value we will just rearrange it and hence we will have 8 uh, we can write it as, as 2 into 4 and that can come out of the square root similarly l x i can take it out and h also i can take it out rest all values will remain in the square root so it will be 2 pi m kt upon h is out so 2 2 will be cancel out and hence we will have we can write 2 pi mkt raised to 1 by 2 lx upon 
h okay this is our the partition function along x axis now as we can know that the particle can move in any direction it will it can move in y direction also it can move in z direction also so what we need to do is we will again consider or we can write the total partition or the total translation partition function will be due to the translation motion along x axis into translation motion along y axis and along translation motion along z axis so hence we can write 2 pi mkt raised to 1 by 2 lx by h into 2 pi mkt raised to 1 by 2 ly by h into 2 pi mkt raised to 1 by 2 into lz by h and that can be written as 2 pi mkt raised to 3 by 2 lx ly and lz upon h cube upon h cube and again we know that length into breadth into height that is lbh is nothing but it is volume so hence we can write 2 pi mkt raised to 3 by 2 upon h cube into v so hence the translation partition function qt can be written as 2 pi mkt 3 by 2 upon h cube into v so if we have volume of any system then we know the temperature and if we know the molar mass of any compound or molar mass of any gas which is under consideration then we can easily find out the translation partition function of that particular gas as uh, the k is our Boltzmann constant h is Planck's constant so both these terms are constant 2 pi is also constant so for any system if the molar mass of that component uh, of that system the temperature of the system and volume of that system is known the translation partition function can be calculated very easily by using this particular formula hence the topic was clear thank you very much